coming. My name is Bob Zegas, I'm the co-director of the Multicultural Committee here at the college. Um, welcome everyone to the opening ceremonies of our African American History Month. Um, it's um, the kickoff to all of the multicultural events that happen here at the college during the spring semester. Um, the history of the uh, African, African American History Month goes back uh, quite a few years um, to 1915 when Dr. Carter Woodson and Reverend Jesse Moreland co-founded the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History. Their goal was to research and bring awareness to the largely ignored yet critical role black people played in American and world history. The following year, Woodson published and distributed his findings in the Journal of Negro History. He found that the publication uh, with the hope that it would dispel popular mistruths. He also hoped to educate black people in their, about their cultural background and instill them with a sense of pride in their race. He was the son of former slaves and the second black person ever to receive his degree from Harvard University. Carter Wilson understood the value of his education. He also felt it was important, felt the importance of the preservation of one's heritage and upon his urging, um, the movement was actually expanded in 1926 to uh, a week of celebration. Um, he had selected it to happen during the month of February, to, uh, and specifically to celebrate in a way uh, the honor of the births of two men who have, uh, whose actions drastically altered the future of black Americans in this country. Abraham Lincoln, in, uh, who issued the Emancipation Proclamation on February 12th, and Frederick Douglass, right here from New Bedford, as one of the nation, you know, who was one of the nation, nation's leading abol abol abolitionists. Um, Dr. Carter, when he pa finally passed away in, in 1950, but, um, but his legacy continues on with the celebration of the uh, African American History Month, or, or also known as Black History Month, across the country. Um, Black History Month is now recognized and uh, widely celebrated by an entire nation, both scholarly and um, commercial level. Here at BCC, we have a lot of different events that are going to be offered to you throughout the sem uh, semester, uh, beginning to with today's opening ceremonies, but then also on, uh, we have the National uh, African American Reading that will occur at all three campuses. Um, Later on, on next week, on Tuesday, February 11th, we have uh, Dr. Emmett Price from Northeastern University who will be speaking uh, in AIDS Building at uh, 11 a.m. He has edited a couple of uh, texts, in particular this one here about uh, the black church and the hip hop culture, and actually will be the focus of his talk when he's here next week. Um, we also have, always, as always, our hip hop extravaganza that happens at, at the end of, towards the end of the month. And we have a lot of other events happening throughout uh, this semester. For more information about all our events, please check the BCC website. We have a link right on the spotlight to all the latest dates, changes uh, about all the events happening. Um, before we throw it off to our drummers to get us going, um, I'd like to introduce President uh, Jack Sprague to say a few words. Thank you, Bob, and welcome everyone to this great celebration. Uh, that was very informative as a historian. I, uh, I appreciate all the work that Bob did in uh, creating the, who creates the themes for these uh, events every year. Uh, and uh, just recently, there's a major article in the uh, Chronicle of Higher Education about the work of David Brian Davis and uh, his uh, uh, path-breaking uh, uh, multi-volume studies of slavery and uh, uh, black relations in the United States and in history, uh, the, the role of slavery in history long before uh, uh, into the ancient uh, days. He is 87 years old and still writing, so that might be a reason I went into history. I hope I can keep going at his age. Um, I did want to uh, mention something that I always mention about uh, uh, Black History Month and for that matter women's Women's Week and uh, Hispanic American Month and whatever. Uh, we don't want to be thinking in terms of time frames uh, for these celebrations. These are continuous uh, celebrations that we need to do year round, uh, not just 28 days or 29 days in February. Uh, we are the beneficiaries of a rich African American uh, culture and heritage, and uh, we want to benefit from that. Similarly, uh, <clears throat> 
the importance of diversity, not just African American uh, as important as that is, but all of diversity for the college is something that I have been long uh, an advocate uh, for. And that is that uh, our classroom discussions, our college discussions, department meetings, all of the various activities that occur at the college are enriched by differing perspectives. And uh, I think that uh, diversity provides a very valuable way for us to enrich our discussions, uh, broaden our perspectives, and move forward with the noble mission that we have as an academic institution in the search for truth. So uh, let's move on again. I'm going to bring Bob back. I do hope that you will uh, pay attention to, and I hope you can participate and support in some of the activities that Bob has mentioned. There will probably be others added to the calendar, so please keep an eye on that. And I'm going to practice my hip hop, and I may join. Uh, I may join that uh, contest myself. But let's uh, give a good hand for uh, uh, Bob Resendez and the committee that put all of these activities together, the African American History Month Committee. Bob Resendez. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there are other committee members. If you are here, if you could just raise your hand. Um, there's at least, yep, one, two. They, they, it's a large group that puts a lot, that takes a lot of time to put these events together. You know, uh, traditionally, this day would always begin with our drumming session around the campus and then back here, but the weather is not cooperating with us. So instead today, we're set up on stage, and I'd like to introduce Dr. Busy Kualue, who is with, always with us at the come introduce you. And he'll begin his performance now. Thank you.
the beach, I know there's somebody I know very better.
Continue watching the show on the stage from the tables here on the side. Thank you.